Hello, this is Optimum Health for All. I'm your regular host, OJ Odia. Optimum Health for All. Professor Sonny Chine with us today, and uh, we're going to talk about diseases or dysfunction or malfunction or disorders of the thyroid gland. Um, the thyroid gland is a, a gland part of the body that produces chemical substances that control most of the body's uh, activities. We say body metabolism, and it's situated at the center of the neck and uh, we want to know from him as an expert in what we call endocrinology that is disease of the endocrine system of the body what abnormalities of the thyroid gland that is function abnormal function of the thyroid gland do we have but first what really does the thyroid gland do i've tried to say it but you can please expand it on it okay thank you uh, welcome to optimal health for all the platform that gives you the latest uh, head tips so today we're talking about uh, thyroid gland diseases now the thyroid gland actually there is a, everybody has got thyroid gland it's at the front of the neck here yes and it produces a hormone. Hormone is a, a special chemical messenger. And that hormone is what powers all the cellular events. You know, the, the human body is almost like a, a pot containing all the ingredients. Of course, without the fire, the, the, the food will not cook. So the thyroid gland is one that provides, the, we call it the fire of life. Yes, the fire of life. That's what the thyroid gland is. It produces some special hormones. There's a way we code it. So this is one we call uh, T3, T4. And also has a role in producing another one we call uh, TSH. These are all coded, they are hormones. And they can be measured. So that's what the thyroid gland is all about. It's right in front of the neck here. And uh, usually you will not see it, but it's there. Most times you see it only when it is enlarged. You can, as, when, when somebody's thyroid gland is enlarged, you can look at it and say, ah, something is swelling your neck. Mm. But ordinarily, the normal one, it, you, you cannot see, you not see it exactly. Yes. Okay. But it's there. Okay. Everybody has got thyroid gland. Yes. Okay. And so, so certain things can go wrong with this gland. And that is what we are going to discuss now. Okay. You see, the thyroid gland produces hormones. Some of these hormones are uh, thyroxine. Yeah, thyroxine, T4. Yeah, then there's triiodothyronine, which is one called T3. And, and then you also have the thyroid stimulating hormone, which, uh, is, which is produced high up. High up and uh -huh. affects the thyroid gland. gland. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm. So, when the thyroid uh, gland produces excessive hormone, for example, what happens? How, how do we recognize it? Yes, the, the, you see these hormones, in, the, in normal people, there is a normal range for all of them. These three we have mentioned. Now, but situations occur when the thyroid gland now overproduces. And the fire of life is now overproducing the fire. You know, usually the, what it produces excessively will be that T3 or T4. And you can imagine when you raise the flame of your uh, cooker or whatever, or well, it will burn everything. So that's exactly what happens. So when it is overproducing, we say it's, uh, it's like hyper. It's, uh, it's, uh, some technical terms, we say hyperthyroidism. You know, that is the gland is overproducing. And in that kind of setting, for the fact that it affects every organ in the body, you see, you can see the person is behaving as if he's under fire. The losing weight, 
is eating but is not showing excessively excessively eating like the, uh, an elephant but yeah but, but, but he's losing like weight yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. you know the heart is pounding you know the heart can even fail okay yes the heart can fail you know so and of course if, if for the women their period can cease if their ovulation can stop if it's young people that are growing, they, their growth will even stop. Okay. So you see, these are these are an abnormal state. Can affect the eyes. Can affect the eyes. Okay. The the eyes will be trying to pop out, because when the when those substances have gone into the eyes, the eyes pops out like this. In fact, some people, the the popping of the of the out of, of the eyes can even damage the nerves that they use in seeing, and they can go blind. So. So these are it can also affect the skin, the hairs will be fallen out from the body. So these are some of the terrible things that can happen when the gland is over producing. Yes, exactly. What yes. Is under producing? yes, the gland can also underproduce in the sense that what is uh, producing is not is not able to provide a fire of life. So the individual instead of uh, he, every day he looks dull, gaining too much weight, the legs are swollen, you know, we, we find it difficult to wake up, even the heart rate is very, very low. In fact, the heart also can fail, it's dull. If it's also children, they are intellectually, they cannot, affected. they cannot, they are affected. Yes. yes. Send them to school, they can learn, they look small for their age, so that's also a one other extreme of its inability to produce. It cannot, it, when, it's, when it's also unable to produce, it also affects women. They may not ovulate. If they are pregnant, the pregnancy can lead to, can lead to miscarriage yes. and so on and so on. And of course, the pregnant woman says the thyroid gland is needed for the maturation of the baby. The baby cannot mature. So these are some of the consequences that can uh, occur. And of course, under that kind of condition, if the gland is swollen, the gland can even press on surrounding structures like the windpipe, the one we call the trachea. And the individual may have difficulty with uh, breathing. Yes. So these are some of the dangers. And in the general, in the practice, in medical practice, we see quite a lot of these patients either coming with overproduction or under production so, of the thyroid gland. Most people have normal production. Yeah, most, yes, ma majority of people have normal thyroid gland production. Mm. And they uh, are doing well, they are moving around, uh -huh, but uh, there are ca extreme cases where they are over producing or not producing at all. Okay. So when these uh, persons have this problem, this other excessive, let's start with the excessive production of uh, thyroid hormones. Um, what can they do? They come to hospital, for example. What happens next? It's yes, w once they come to hospital, the fact the the even if the, if they are, assuming they are coming from general outpatient, they will refer them to the specialist clinic. They are asked to go and do a special test, other than the doctor examining them, recognizing some of these symptoms I mentioned about. They will do a special test called thyroid function test. We want to look at the level of that, those hormones, those T3, those T4, those TSH. We want to look at, yes, assuming it is high, the, the patient is cancelled and is explained to the patient, this is what you have. We are going to place you on treatment. There are special tablets called the antithyroid so drugs. It can be treated. Okay. Yes, it can be treated, yes. Those of them that are not producing. Mm -hmm. Enough. Yeah, not enough. There are also tablets that this thyroid hormone, there are, it, it can be produced, a uh, yeah, and a tablet. Okay. And they are administered to them and they will, uh, uh, they will pick up. It has to be monitored by a doctor. It has to be monitored, yes. become excessive. Uh, okay. Of course, regularly you, they are seen, they are monitored until they are stable. Yes. Well, sometimes uh, people say that. Uh, the thyroid hormones is are low because of poor production of the hormones uh, by the thyroid gland. What can affect the, make the thyroid gland not produce enough hormones? 
say <laughs> having been those were the the thyroid hormones are low under production. What may be the cause? The in our environment here, the one of the things we see that causes uh, low production of the hormone is that patients that have undergone thyroid surgery, mm. very common because you know there are some patients that have very big gland mm. that is cosmetically unacceptable or that is pressing on some surrounding structures so they now decide to go for surgery usually these days what the surgeons do because at times it's difficult for the surgeon to actually know the amount to remove, to remove yes. some of the surgeons remove it or remove like 70 percent mm. those patients at the long run may no longer produce enough, enough. Okay. so they now, they now come with that uh, a state of hypo okay. where they're unable to produce yes. that's that's a very common cause okay. yes another thing could also be that uh, at times some patients will recognize their thyroid gland as if it's foreign and they start okay, uh, so destroying the body yeah but attacks it like particularly in women mm. yeah that's what you call autoimmune disorder yeah, exactly. yes young, young women yes okay. so, and when that has happened and the natural thyroid gland thyroid cells have been destroyed of course okay. the individual cannot produce so enough again they now come with a uh, okay. hypo yes sometimes there's deficiency maybe in the environment of high yes that's what yes in those so days yeah. in those days mm. uh, we used to have because it's a very crucial substance in the in the nutrients mm. in food that is used in producing a thyroid hormone mm. is iodine mm. yes so but there are people that live in hilly areas in those days like area like uh jaws uh, and maybe yeah. on, on soccer yeah. yes. so in those days there used to be iodine deficiency yes, yes. and that can it's lead to, to an endemic disease yeah it was common in those communities at times you go to the market see, you see more than 10 percent of people in the market with swollen, swollen neck, neck yeah. yes but uh, since the 70s the federal government particularly in nigeria has done something very good all our salts you know everybody uses salt mm. all our salt is iodized like it contains iodine, iodine yes yeah, I, Add iodine to the salt. To the salt, yes. Is, uh, that so, table salt. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like it's like it's a public health prevention measure. Mm. And since then, since then we the, don't really don't see endemic uh, uh, deficiency. iodine deficiency again. Okay. Yes, so okay. that one has virtually been eradicated. Okay. By the simple measure. Simple measure, yes. Of adding uh, iodine. Like, like all salt. those uh, common salt you are buying in the market, mm. they are all there are some iodine added to it okay. in fact, even if you look at label you see written on it iodized uh, salt, salt. Yeah. yes and so you that's, don't buy those that don't have iodine yeah don't buy the buy don't buy any salt that doesn't have iodine okay. uh, because that iodine is a very important uh, right. uh, supplement in the body that okay. make sure you don't develop thyroid pro gland problem hmm. Hmm. so we now have two sets of people those that they have overproduction of thyroid hormone and those that are under production and there's no the treatment hmm. one is to suppress the overproduction the other one is to enhance production, production. by way of supplementation yes okay so these people how what is the uh what is the outcome likely to be after treatment or during mm. treatment the like people that are producing mm. when you place them on the right medication they do very well mm. they stabilize they come back to normal mm. of course when they come back to normal there are other treatments you can now look at okay. that will be like a cure mm. so it doesn't uh, come back, come back yeah. again mm. ranging from surgery to one other special treatment we call radioactive iodine sorry uh -huh. yes. if need be yes if, if, if need be yeah. yes uh -huh. there are also some patients when you have treated them for a reasonable number of time their problem resolves. Uh, so yeah, it so resolves. For a few, a few months. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. They, are, they no longer come with it again. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is to be following them up. Oh, and they yes. just look at yeah. the not, not recurring or any such thing. Exactly. So it's something that can be easily taken care of. Yes. Even in these days of modern medical uh, therapy, unlike in the past, uh, when we had these uh, women in the villages having huge. Okay. It's a large uh, uh, thyroid gland, and they, sometimes they have to remove for cosmetic reasons or yeah. give them iodine supplement and all that. So we have advanced. Yeah. So 
the prevention of iodine deficiency is introducing iodine yeah. in the salt, yes. the table salt. So, are there any other things you want to advise any persons that may have had this um, thyroid uh, um, dysfunction? Yeah, the, uh, the thyroid problems are seen in our environment. And once they are seen, there are available tests that can be used to dictate it and treat it. Mm. Yes. And uh, we should no longer, uh, based on ignorance, run away from seeking modern healthcare. In fact, I recall many, many years ago, I recall one patient that presented to us at teaching house then. He had, we had a very huge goiter. The, the, I don't want to measure the part of the country where the patient came from. The old man said she was a witch. It's that level of ignorance. <laughs> of course, we, we accepted her, we contributed money, and she was operated on. Mm -hmm. Of course, she became normal. No, no, the exactly. Uh -huh. gone. exactly. Yeah. So, so, you see, the, these diseases are there. It is nobody's own for it. The nature of illness is random. Uh -huh. So, whoever uh, develops any symptom that warrants uh, medical evaluation, please. Seek that uh, yeah. medical evaluation and then let the Go diagnosis be made. Yes, yeah. okay. thyroid gland uh, disorders has a treatment, mm. and quite a lot of patients can be cured. So, Prof, thank you very much. So thank we you. are very grateful to Professor Sanichine for our discussion today. And viewers, thank you for listening. Do subscribe, as we'll say, share this video. For the benefit of all, optimal health for all. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Okay. Optimum health for all. You know what I mean.